Hey guys, it's Westman here, and this is a very quick tutorial on how to fix the lag or delay or buffering on Twitch. So, Twitch has been fucking around for like, I don't know, a good year for me now, and it has finally gotten to the point where I can't watch streams at all because every 5 seconds it starts to buffer, and then it buffers for 5 seconds, and I can watch for 5 seconds, and it buffers again. So, this is uh, very, very, very infuriating. So I've looked around for ways and methods to fix this and today I found out how to do it and I'm going to share it with you since it's not really the most obvious thing and it's kind of, well, not not exactly self-explaining how to do it. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial on it and this fixed the lag issues for 100%. I used it on seven different streams now which were unwatchable before on the Twitch side itself and now it's running without any problems at all. So let's get straight to it. The first thing you go you're going to need is the VLC media player for Windows or for your operating system. You want to download... Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to paste all the links in the description so you don't have to search them manually. Just click it and download it. All right. So, the first thing you want to download is this one right here, the installer package. Simply click on it and it starts to download and install. The same thing here. Uh, you will have to scroll a little bit down. So you scroll down here and this is the program itself, live streamer. And this is what we're going to use. What you'll see is to display the stream that is going to get um, well, sniffed, I think, is, is a word to use here. I don't really know the exact word. But Livestreamer basically grabs the stream from a server and sends it to your VLC media player. So what you want to download here is this file, like the left one, and install it too. And last but not least, this one right here. So. I, like the thing is, I don't think you necessarily need it, but I ran into a couple of issues I had with Livestreamer, and I got suggested to download this and install it. It's nothing too big; it wasn't like a big problem at all. So I would recommend you just downloading it, and if you have any problems without installing it, just do it. So what you need here is this one right here, and if you're on a Mac, this one. This one is it. I'm not sure which one for Linux, but you'll figure it out. Um, so before we actually get to yeah, well, installing and setting everything up, you should check your internet speed, okay? Because the thing is, I have bad internet. It's very bad. And the maximum download speed I get is, as it says here, 1.2 megabytes per second. But I can watch every stream I tried so far on source quality. And I'm going to show you a little program right here. There we go. Uh, this is NetLimiter and it basically displays and allows you to uh, um, yeah, well, block connections or limit them. So what I, what I always saw is here by livestreamer.exe, the highest download I got like ever on source was 800, 800 kilobytes per second in download. So this was really like just a short spike. The average is about it's around 500 kilobytes per second. So if your internet is good enough to download this from any other website, you should be good to go. Okay. So check your download speed. If your download speed is too low, speaking if it's under, let's say, 8 megabytes per second, uh, try to watch on high or medium, medium I think it's called, or middle, medium, middle, anyways, second highest option. Um, all right, so we're good to go. So after you installed everything, oh, one little mention, you should install the VLC media player in the suggested path, speaking on your Windows drive or on the drive C, because a live streamer is going to look for VLC in the suggested paths, like in the, the normal installation paths. So try not to switch it around. I know it's, it's a little, it's a bite in the green apple to install it in the Windows 
partition, but I think it's the only only good way to do it without many complications and unnecessary trouble. So after you've installed everything, you need to start CMD. CMD is going to be your tool to access Livestreamer. Don't worry, it's not complicated. It's really, really easy, actually. You, cl you press Start, and then you enter simply CMD and Enter one time. That's it. So when you're here, I'm going to write the command in the description too, so you get a little practice in remembering it. It's very, very simple. It's literally the easiest command I've ever seen in CMD. You type in a live streamer, spacebar, and now we get to the Twitch part. Let's say we have, uh, yeah, Riot Games. So what you want to do is, you copy this path. You can copy it entirely or without the www, doesn't matter. And Paste it behind the spacebar. Don't use CTRL and V for it, since this will happen. Use right click and insert. And that's the last thing, another spacebar, and there you enter your site quality. Uh, and as I always do it, I simply type best. So it automatically selects the best possible stream, and there you go. You have it here in your uh, VLC media player. You can Make it big. You can also this uh, little feature of VLC. You have very very good options here. You can uh, can select different. Uh, well, I don't know the exact translation, but I, I guess you know what I mean. And you can select different types, and you can also hold on a second. Uh, ah, there we go. No, wait, that's that's incorrect. I'm sorry. <laughs> There you go. Here you can add equalizer and everything. Like if you want to have more bass in your stream, you can do it all. As you can see, it's running on source fluently in the background, and I can show you what the average download on live streamer is. And there you go. It's it's really not high, and it's on source, best quality, no audio issues, as it's sometimes seen on uh, Azubu TV. So. Yeah, and as said, this fixed it entirely for me. I had problems for an entire year now, and this worked like a charm. Couldn't be, be happier. So, thanks for watching. If you have questions, feel free to paste them. Or not paste them, write them in the comment section. And if you like League of Legends and gaming content, you can subscribe. Glad to have you. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.